Axis Magnus may be getting devalued and you have to use your points before the devaluation kicks in, right? So you may be thinking, where should I use my points? Have you already used your points? Yes. Tell me, how did you use it? I'm going to tell you how I used my points and where did I transfer them? So let's get started. So there are very strong rumors on social media that Axis Magnus is getting devalued. People have written to the CEO of the, the bank. Some people have also raised, created a petition to not devalue this, which is crazy in my opinion. But however, that does not matter. Let us consider a scenario wherein Axis Magnus points get devalued today itself because it is possible in the world of credit cards anything is possible so it is best to be play safe and you know transfer your points to some place where it can you can extend the validity of your points right so what you can do is you know, I evaluated what other points i have on my other credit cards right so i have some points in my american express then i had some points on my infinia card right so now the option was to you know see i largely use my cards for travel purposes only right so all the points that i use i transfer it to travel partners for travel purposes right so uh, what i did is i evaluated which would be the best redemption for me so the options were transferring it to itc transferring it to marriott transferring it to accor these were some of the hotel chain options then you know between airlines i uh, i narrowed it down to between uh, chris flyer and united right so now the decision was should i transfer it to an airline or should i transfer it to a hotel for me i don't really see that you know uh, business class flights or redemption for airlines do not make too much sense for me because uh, for the same amount of points that you spend on a business class ticket you can stay at from you know uh, anywhere between three to five nights in a hotel generally right so that's why for me the value is more in redeeming it for hotels versus redeeming it for a business class flight this does not mean that i will not redeem it for a business class flight ever i have done that recently right i uh, flew business class on singapore airlines uh, uh, in a380 to vietnam as well in this case transferring to a hotel made more sense to me because generally uh, you can buy uh, economy tickets on flights in cash right but then staying in good hotels is very important for me i can you know travel i take up four to eight hours of flight in economy class i don't uh, you know it does not matter too much to me but a good hotel is definitely my very high priority right so what i do is i try to transferring my points to hotels. So between ITC, Marriott and uh, Accor, how did I narrow it down, right? So let's consider each of them and see uh, what is the best case scenario. So starting with ITC. ITC, the issue was that all the ITC hotels are largely located in India and you can only redeem it in India. So that was one of the reasons I did not transfer it to ITC. But then the advantage of ITC is that say you transfer 10,000 points to ITC, right? Uh, once 10,000 points are created in ITC, you can transfer it to uh, Marriott from ITC and you get 1 is to 1.5. So basically, if you transfer 10,000 points from ITC to Marriott, you will get 15,000 Marriott points, right? So that is one advantage of transferring it to ITC so that you can transfer it to Marriott from there. Or if you're traveling within India and want to stay in an ITC property, it's very good to transfer. But then, like I said, I have a lot of points in my American Express wallet also. And largely, I use my American Express points for uh, transfers to Marriott and redeeming it there. That's why I did not transfer it to ITC because of this reason because I have already have a lot of MX points which can be transferred to Marriott and MX generally comes up with an offer wherein it gives you a bonus on transferring points to Marriott like last year in October November there was a bonus of 30% on transferring to Marriott wherein I transferred a lot of my points right so this year also I'm hoping that something similar comes up so that we can transfer our points to uh, Marriott so this was the reason I did not transfer to ITC these were the same reasons I did not transfer to Marriott also because uh, I have points in my American Express cards. So if you want to transfer to Marriott, right, what you should do is transfer it through ITC so that you get that bonus points. Because if you transfer it directly to ITC, you will get 5 is to 4. But if you transfer it through ITC, you uh, will get 5 is to 4 in ITC and then from ITC to Marriott, you will get 1 is to 1.5, which will be a better conversion to Marriott points, right? So then comes Accor. Accor is a fantastic hotel program. You know, unfortunately, they are very limited hotels in India. But Accor points are generally valued at 1.8 rupees per point. How is How does that work? So in Accor, 2,000 points is 40 euros okay so if we take an approximate value of 3600 rupees for euros uh, let's find out the uh, value of euros inr euro to inr so euro to inr is 92 rupees so let's take an average of 90 rupees here so if you transfer 2000 points to accor you get 40 uh, euros so 40 euros is 3600 rupees so one point is valued at 1.8 rupees right so it's a flat conversion rate and you can use it for your stay for your food and you know other activities so this was a very attractive proposition for me if i transferred one lakh points I would get value of 1,80,000 1, like rupees. So that's what I did. I transferred all my points from Axis Magnus to Accor. Now I have to make sure that I use these first because of the risk of you know devaluation here as well. Going forward, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan my holidays in a way where I'm going to use the Accor points first and then you know uh, use the points lying in my credit cards. So uh, I hope this was useful for you. The whole process of transferring to Accor was very simple. I went on the Accor website, created an account, registered myself, got a uh, got a membership number, then I went to the uh, 
Axis Bank app, you know, went to the credit card section and the, uh, you know, travel portal. I registered the, the uh, travel partner section uh, with Echo and then uh, the registration happens immediately. Then I transferred the points. The trans points were credited in two days itself. So it totally makes sense to do it. If you have not yet done your transfers, I would recommend doing it immediately. Get started with it. Do not wait because if a devaluation happens, it could also happen immediately. You never know. Don't even, I mean, if there are rumors, right, uh, it's better to play safe here rather than waiting to get a clarity. See, uh, it's always good to have clarity, but then the risk, only risk is that the devaluation could happen immediately, right? If it happens overnight, you may not get a chance to transfer it. So play safe because I also have a lot of points, you know, in pipeline. I did not want to waste all the points and hence I transferred these. If you have not yet transferred, do it. Let me know in comment section. How have you done it? Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.